the death of everything, but also the beginning. People have filled the world, yet turned it into a void. The only hope of salvation lies in ruin. <laughs> Did you work in a zoo? Because that's one huge pile of shit you're pushing around. So, how'd that turn out for you, Dad? It doesn't matter now that you're dead as a doornail, does it? You wanted the world destroyed, huh? Isn't that right, you worthless pest? Fine, I'll do it. This shitty world with its shitty people and shitty lives will disappear, and I'll be the only thing left. After all, if the father's fallen into darkness, then the sun must rise. Just kidding. <laughs> what nonsense. What? These constructs can only remain active within my red fog. Even then, they can only do so for a limited amount of time. If you have time to waste with worthless sentiment, hurry up and complete your preparations. Ha! You've got no sense of humor. Keep up your whining and I'll have to kill you too. <laughs> Such impudence. Take them. They are your paw. They're pretty well made. Fine, I've got the power I borrowed from you too. So now there's no way I could lose. Well then, time to make like a tree and turn over a new leaf or whatever. <laughs> hmm, huh. a puppet version of a puppet. I'll make sure you get the job done this time. Now let's begin, for the sake of his world. I finished going through Labrys' personality module and control links. I knew we could count on you. I'm sorry that I asked you for such a big favor. Oh no, I couldn't possibly stand by after something so important happened. But, um, is it really alright for me to be doing this? Aren't you all part of some kind of police organization now? There's no need to be concerned. Even now that we've become the shadow operatives, this lab belongs solely to the Carijo group. I finished investigating Labrys' mobility systems. All I have to do now is reboot her OS and perform some final checks. Thank you. How is she? She'd sustained some heavy structural damage, so I was worried, but thankfully none were critical. I see. And what did you recover from her memory? I'm sorry. I searched through it, but I found no records that would lead to finding the one behind what happened. If we want to pursue him any further, we'll have to wait for a report from intelligence. But it seems that will still take some time. I see.
Then we have no clues to go on. Eh, don't be so hasty. We might get new leads from intelligence, right? Ever since that attempted airplane hijacking, we've learned that the Public Safety Division has been making some disquieting moves. If we don't make a move soon, there's no telling what they'll do to take advantage of the situation. We have to find a lead before they do anything. I understand how you feel, Mitsuru-san, but we must solve one problem at a time. That is why we have gathered here today. You're right. I'm sorry. Please work with me here in reviewing what information we already know. The person behind this case first stole Labrys, the fifth-generation anti-shadow suppression weapon, while she was in transport. Yes. The hijacking of the airplane you were on was a diversion used to conceal the theft of my sister, after which she was transported to Inaba. Correct. The hijackers were subdued and captured, but we have reason to believe that their minds were under some kind of control. The culprit waited until he arrived in Inaba to turn Labrys on and fiddle with her memory. And then he threw her into the TV world, right? Where one's heart and memories manifest themselves. As a machine, Labrys was able to control these memories in great detail. In other words, the enemy used her in order to set a trap for us. When we entered the television world in pursuit, we defeated her shadow and made indirect contact with the culprit. That person revealed that his goal was to steal our personas by making us fight each other, which would weaken our hearts and turn our personas to shadows. Once he'd accomplished that, he would combine them all so we could have even more powerful shadows. Shuji Kutsuki. The culprit's speech pattern is consistent with Ikutsuki-san's mannerisms. His inability to use a persona matches him as well. But that's not possible! He- That's right. We've confirmed Ikutsuki's death. Or, maybe there's someone out there besides Ikutsuki who still thinks the same way he did. If so, then the world we strive for is still far away. Yamagishi, when Labrys awakens, can you give her a summary of the case from three years ago? I'd like her to know what went on while she was sealed. I understand. Can't you just stick that data into her memory? If we did that, it would just become a piece of data to her. She needs to be told about it in order for her mind to understand what happened. She's human through and through, huh? Also, I noticed something when I was checking her memories. The makeup of Labrys's memory field is slightly different from Igus's. Besides the memory area that she normally accesses, there seems to be a sub-network of some sort. She has two memory networks? I think it was probably used to incorporate the feedback from her sibling units, but I still don't know for sure. That's why I believe it's safer to tell her in person. All right. I'll let you tell her however you see fit. Regarding Yakutsuki, I'm pressuring staff to hurry and review the information. 
including the newly discovered quarantine server at Ergo Research. We never knew about the server in question before now, because it had been cut off from the group's network. It most likely has information that normally would have never left Ergo Research, such as data on top-secret experiments. By the way, what was the logic behind that whole midnight channel thing? It's still unknown, but we'll have to send people to Inaba again. We're going to hold a meeting at headquarters tomorrow to discuss countermeasures. What's going on? The surveillance system detected a rise in shadow readings. It's currently stabilizing around a level 3 alert, located in that town of Inaba. What? Looks like he's shown up already. <laughs> that saves us the trouble of having to puzzle this out. Yusan and his friends are in danger. Mitsuru-san, please get the order to dispatch us. Alright, we'll leave at once. Yamagishi, leave Labras to Kikuno and accompany us. I, I understand. Well then, I leave the rest to you, Kikuno-san. Understood. Lady Mitsuru, everyone, please be careful. Hold on, I guess. What is it? If we can put Labyrus aside for a moment, are you going to be all right without having any maintenance done on you, I guess? What do you mean? I read the documents on your new equipment. At first, I assumed it was referring to that large gun, but it's actually... Ah, that... True. There have been no tests confirming that it is capable of being used in an actual combat situation. But we face a powerful foe this time. Is it even possible? If even one thing were to go wrong... Milady, a change of clothes has been laid out in your car. I see. Thank you. I've also prepared Akihiko-san's favorite protein drink, and Fuka-san has been preparing a playlist suitable for a road trip in her room. Huh? That will be all, Kikuno. Very well. Pardon me. Start this over, shall we? Shadow operatives, let's mobilize! Why are we taking this car again, Mitsuru? Don't question it, Akihiko. There was no time to prepare a vehicle with the same equipment. Speaking of appearances, are you gonna wear that again? Sure. There's a chance that we'll have to fight after all. These clothes give me the flexibility I need. Impressive, Akihiko-san. You never change. Still, to think that the culprit would make a move so soon, we've completely lost the initiative. Indeed. 
We need to begin taking measures right now. I only hope no danger comes to Narakami and his friends. Mitsuru-san, why don't we just ask them to cooperate with us? I agree. They seem pretty strong. No, they're still young. If I asked for their assistance, it would waste time better spent in school. Worse yet, it would put them in danger. I don't want anyone else to have to go through that anymore. I understand how you feel, but they don't seem like the kind who'd listen. No, we were the same way back then. <laughs> We have new information. Kikuno sent me a message. I tasked Kikuno with reviewing Ergo Research's quarantine server, but it seems new evidence has come to light regarding Ikutsuki, who we discussed in our earlier conversation. According to the report, it seems Ikutsuki was performing an experiment on his own in the lab directly after the explosion. It's unknown if this is related to our current mission, but there was a record of a plume of dusk being used in the experiment. A plume of dusk? So, what are the details of this experiment? Nothing good, I bet. Mm. Ikutsuki was... Yamagishi, tell me our current location. One moment. I'm looking it up now. We're currently in Inaba Pass. We're almost at the target coordinates. <gasps> what is this? What's wrong? Ah! An ambush? What's happening? Driver, what's going on? Answer me! This... It's just like during the hijacking! I guess... On it! A barrier! Are we trapped?